Hello, my name is Jude Camplin. This is Chrissy Shaw. We've come here today for investment in our two companies, Evolution Solutions and Evolve Through Training. The investment we're looking for is £150,000 for 20%. Evolution Solutions is a construction company which champions women in the construction industry. That means that wherever possible, we employ women tradespeople. Evolution Solutions started trading in September 2005 Nerves are getting the better of Jude. She'll have to regain her composure quickly to stand any chance of persuading the dragons to invest. We champion women in the construction industry. Uh, housing associations have to hit diversity targets. We solve that problem for them. There are some environments men just can't go into. There's refuges, sheltered housing. We also have a lot of anecdotal evidence which also says that customers just prefer women in their homes. You know, that, that's probably because of the much televised pot bellet builder rummaging through your knicker drawer that, 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 you know, gets that perception, but it's out there and it is about trust. Chris is going to talk about Evolve Through Training. Right. There's two sides to the business. As you've heard, there's the building company. We also have an academy, right? The academy is set out over three sites in Derby, and it was designed specifically to, give, to deliver good quality construction training to everyone. The academy will deliver City and Guild accredited training through intensive courses in five aspects of the construction trades. I'll hand you back to Jude. We want an academy and a construction company in every major city of the UK within 10 years. We also want to see a woman on every building site within five years. So thank you for your time and please ask any questions. Thank you. After a shaky start, Jude and Chrissy have made it through their pitch. They're asking for £150,000, but the 20% equity they're offering in return is split between two companies. It's an unusual deal, and Deborah Meaden needs some clarification. I need to understand those two companies. How does that work? Evolution Solutions has been trading a lot longer. Evolve Through Training is launching in August, as Chrissy said. OK, and what's the turnover on Evolve Through Training? We're probably looking at about 500,000 in the first year. So there's no, at the moment, no turnover in either of the businesses? No, Evolution Solutions has been trading since September 2005, and up until April, we turned over only about £150,000. And out of the £150,000, how much does that drop into profit? Uh, if I was, oh, I'm going to be totally honest, uh, not a lot. This year, we, we've made a loss. Are you offering us 20% of each of your companies? Yes, we're no, offering no, 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 20% no. of both, both of the companies. companies. So that's 20% that's split up, so 5% evolved through training, 15% evolution solutions. Hey. How does that work? How does that work? Well, what do you mean, how does it work? 5% have evolved through You're training. You're actually giving me 5% of one company and 15 over the other. You're not yeah. giving me 20%, are you? Well, all right, 20% is combined over both no, companies. No, it doesn't work like that. One could be worth £100, right? And you give me 20% of it. That's 20 quid, yeah? yeah? Keep it simple. And the other Thank one you. could be worth... We are women. <laughs> We do, I apologise, but we face You've this You've got a terrible day. attitude. I, I tell you, I, I, on that point, on that, on that point, I've got a serious issue with that comment. Well, we... I've got, do you know how many women I work with? Yeah, I, yes. Do you want to have a guess? No, I don't know, but no, I no. can imagine. I no, can imagine. please have a guess. We, I've no idea. I don't know who, to be perfectly honest. You don't, I don't know, know who we are. You've pitched up, asked for £150,000 yeah. yeah. for 20%, which yeah. is actually 5% of one company and 15% yeah. of another company. Yeah. You don't know who we are. You made a flippant comment about... It's not flippant. It's very serious No, you made a very us. flippant it's comment. It's very serious Without, Because if you'd done us. your homework, you wouldn't have made a comment. Jude has incensed Theo Pafitis. Deborah Meaden tries to steer the discussion back to business. 
How about we start again and you talk us through your business model and how we make some money and just want to understand the business. Right. Can you explain to me why you think there aren't more women in the construction industry at the moment? If you've got 20 men and one woman vying for a position in a building company as a trainee, whether you like it or not, men still choose to take on men. That, that is a fact as well. Do you, do you know you're beginning to sound like a crusade? It's a campaign. A it's a campaign because there's an, it's a niche market. There's a niche in the market. Jude's approach to the business is not impressing the dragons. Peter Jones is ready to have his say. Using words like campaigning, using words like I want a woman on every building site. We do. Well, because do you, there are women do you out not there see the alienation? Do you not see the alienation that will ensue? No. Well, you've already got five dragons pretty hacked. Well, you know, I'm sorry about that. If you can do that, that in really five am, minutes, what are you going to do when you go out to the open market we, and try and sell your it, services? We've done it and we've succeeded. We have got the attention you, of housing you, associations you and have succeeded. that are, are You've succeeded happy. at nothing. That's not strictly true either. You haven't got a business that makes any money and you haven't even started a trading business. Now, Jude and Chrissy have been blasted by Peter Jones. With emotions running high in the den, Richard Farley steps in to find out what sets their businesses apart from rival construction and training companies. You've got a business, the evolution is about hiring out women, is that right? Or women and men? Men and women. Both. Men, men and, and women. women. Yeah. And the academy is for men and women. So yes. you've, got, you've got two, two businesses. Yes. The unique thing about the academy is what? We deliver not only construction training, but the whole package will address customer focus. Okay, so nothing to do with men and women. No, no. Then you've got this construction business, which is unique in what sense? Because we do offer women tradespeople as well as men. Okay. We give customers the choice. You're saying that your construction company, there is a demand out there for people who do want women. Yeah, is that right? Absolutely. It's slightly confusing because your unique selling point is that you've got a high ratio of women, but you still yes. have men. Yes. If you come and pitch an idea or your concept that actually said, look, do you know what? My most critical success factor to my whole business model is the fact that I'm going to focus exclusively on women. My whole business model is going to be based around putting more women into construction industry in key areas where actually they add value. Really good quality people that are trained through you, Chrissy. They then move over to the business once they're trained yeah. and you then tender the contracts exclusively. You are the female side of the construction industry, I think you now start to have a really good business. business. I don't know whether we can actually do that because of the Discrimination Act. But you know, this is something you should really find out because well, I think you should well, be we're stopped, we it's have. your unique selling point yeah. but, and but, you should really but, find but out. What I want to say, and I'm going to complete here, is, and that is that what you've come in to try and pitch, you've pitched it in such a discriminating way. Your attitude has to change from focusing on the discrimination to focusing on the key benefit. I'm not going to invest in you. Um, so I'm out. Peter Jones has heard enough. He's the first dragon out. Theo Pafitis, who clashed with Jude from the start, has also made up his mind. You came here today looking for someone to invest in you a huge amount of money. If you'd have done some homework, you'd have come up here in front of the five dragons and made a pitch that might have just persuaded us or invest in you £150,000. I don't believe you're investable and I won't be investing so I'm out. Now, I can't back you either because you haven't demonstrated that you've found a clear way forward and, and so I think you, you need to learn those lessons before you, someone can just give you 150,000 to play with and the, the uphill climb that you've got to undertake, I'm going to drop out as well, so thank you. With Theo Pafitis, Richard Farley and Peter Jones all out, Jude and Chrissy's chances of securing £150,000 are hanging by a thread. Has Deborah Meaden heard anything that will tempt her to back the pair? Jude, Chrissy, I think you might have be onto something if you listen to the advice. Do you know my big concern? Is watching you, Jude. When you get advice, there's a big sigh and there's a but. You're doing it. Exactly <laughs> that. <laughs> that is exactly the point. Yeah, but That's I listen it. to everybody the and thing everything. Is, what we, we are in here today to look for business opportunities. What you brought to us was a debate that you instigated 
over discrimination, over women in the workplace, over crusading and campaigning. That's how you started. We have helped you to bring this back onto a business platform. But every single time we try to talk about something you don't like to hear, you're very, very defensive. Anyway, you're doing it again, Jude. You're not listening to me. So I'm afraid for that reason, I'm out. It looks all but over for Jude and Chrissy. Only Duncan Bannatyne now stands between them and expulsion from the den. I've just found you rude, offensive, very sexist, very discriminatory. I employ a lot of women. I employ more women than I employ men, and they do a fantastic job. Would I employ you? No. Would I invest in you? No. Never. So I'm out. I've heard worse. If you've heard worse, it's just something, it's if you've just heard something. worse and you keep hearing it, yeah, but, and you keep going to a place and you're going to yeah. try going in without that chip on your shoulder. You're the only person who's right. We're all wrong. Yeah. Everybody's wrong. You've got a massive chip on your shoulder no, and a haven't. terrible attitude. That's your problem. Fine. With the words of a furious Duncan Bannatyne ringing in their ears, Jude and Chrissy are leaving the den empty handed and the dragons are smouldering. Well, that was the hardest work trying to understand a business in that model that I've ever, ever heard. Did we discuss business? No. Were no. there actually any...? Do you know what? She hasn't got a chip on her shoulder. She's finely balanced. She's got one on each shoulder. Yeah, well said. Well said, Sue. Jude, Chrissy, are you, are you blaming yourselves? Nope. They loved me, didn't they? <laughs> Were you aggressive or nervous? How does that work? Well, what do you mean, how does it work? That is, unfortunately, my manner. I am... You're like that? Yeah, yeah, I say what... We both say what we believe in. What about the chip on your shoulder? Um, no, not a chip. You don't I get frustrated. And when you want to change something for the better, and the reason you can't is because you're a woman, you know, it does vex me. I've heard worse. Um, I don't apologise for how I am. I have to be like this to survive in the industry. And if you're not, you just leave it. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you.